Hello everyone, my name is KDS119. I am pleased to bring you my first video series. In this video series, I will be chronicling my adventures in New Eden. I would like to start off the adventure by introducing you my main tune. His name is Bajran Bali. He is currently enlisted in Faction Warfare, fighting for the Galente Faction. Now for those that may not know, Faction Warfare currently takes place only in low sec. It pits Galente and Mimitar versus the Kaldari and the Amar. Just because Faction Warfare pits the two different faction teams together, the Kaldari and the Amar and the Mimitar and the Galente, that doesn't mean that they work together. In Faction Warfare, it's all about getting the LP, the loyalty points. Whenever you get these loyalty points, you can take those and spend those in the loyalty point store. The best way to acquire these loyalty points is through a process called plexing, or also known as complexing. When you come into a system that's a part of Faction Warfare, and you're a member of a Faction Warfare militia, there are celestial beacons that through scanning will pop up. You go into these sites and you either defend them or you attack them and a timer will start whenever it's not contested. After the timer has expired and you've either successfully defended it or attacked it, you will get loyalty points. In the first video, we won't go into all the in-depth parts of about how these loyalty points are, are spent and what items and such you can get, or necessarily why the two allied factions may not work together. I wanted to take this first video and tried to explain who I am and what I've done in EVE. Now, I've been playing EVE on and off ever since about 2004 or so. I couldn't continue playing the game steadily because there just wasn't, there wasn't a hook for me. I couldn't find something that would, that would keep me in the game and going for weeks, months, years on end. The very first time that I played EVE, I had seen it and read all about it. And it seemed like a very fascinating game. This this world, the you know, internet spaceships and such, it was fascinating to me. I got into the game and I absolutely hated it. I didn't play it hardly for maybe a day or two. The game was just too hard and complicated for me at the time. At least once a year or so, I would try to get into EVE and, and get hooked into it like some of my friends said that they were. They were always telling me about these big, massive battles that they were taking place and how you could own a piece of space and such and all the different cool things that you could do in it. And I just, I never got that. And around December of 2011, I met a gentleman that played Eve. He had played Eve for, for years and he was so excited about it. He, he wanted to show me all of his cool ships and things and tell me about the things that he'd done in Eve and... He had told me that he, that he had started a corp, and that if I started playing Eve, he would gladly accept me into his corp. Now, it was, it was a simple mining corp. Uh, the main thing they did was mining ice, and luckily at the time it was a good time to get in, because Hulkageddon was going on, and ice was going through the roof. It was a fantastic time. So I chose to play Eve at that time. I got into it. Him and other corp mates helped me out with with ISK and, and such. At the time with that corp, I was making around about a hundred mil a week or so. Uh, they, had, they had introduced me to the market and tried to show me how the market worked and things, and it was fantastic. I was making, making so much risk for a, for a new player. It was, it was unreal. This was the main problem that I had whenever I originally first started playing EVE and all these other times. I never had any friends that would help me with the game. They would show me uh, these various items and I never knew about the wealth of resources and such that were out there to help guide you through EVE. Sadly not long after I had started playing EVE, I'd say oh, uh, three to four months or so, the gentleman that had gotten me into EVE had decided that it was time to move on to, to other adventures and things in the world of EVE. He had left the corp to, to another gentleman and I just, he just didn't have the same passion. The, the corp was great. 
Uh, don't get me wrong, but he just didn't have the same passion that this gentleman had. And we were in different time zones, and I just, at that point, I lost interest in Eve once again. So I went off and I started my own corp. Didn't do very well. Uh, I, <laughs> I was a miserable failure. Uh, so that went on for a little while. But I, but I stuck with it. I decided this is, this is the game that I'm going to play. And I'm going to stick with it. Because of the, the immense learning curve that there is with Eve. And, and the burnout rate. It's just, it's just insane. But I was determined this time. Because I had been excited about it for the first three or four months ago. I was going to stick with it. It was at this point that I decided that I should make a post on the forum. Looking for another corp to join. I was contacted by all kinds of different corporations. Uh, thankfully, the tune that I currently use, uh, Vajran Bali here, he has lots and lots of skill points. I joined a a Nullsec Corp, and it didn't work out. Uh, they they claimed to be fantastic and active all the time, and this this didn't turn out to be true at all. They were uh, they were always docked up and ship spinning, and that's not why I joined them. So I moved on. I made another post on the forums uh, saying that I was still looking for a corporation. I was looking for PvP and I was looking to get out of the high sec Care Bear life. I was contacted by the CEO of Rabbit Ninja Space Monkeys Inc. He told me that they lived out in low sec and that there was fights constantly and there was a fleet up almost 24-7. I was immediately interested. So I asked him what ship I should bring and I grabbed my ship and I headed out there. Almost immediately, I got out there, and <laughs> lo and behold, there was a fight going on. There was a fleet up, just like he had said. And this is how I started in Faction Warfare. For many years, I had ignored it, and darn it, all that time was wasted, having so much fun with it. And that is what this video series is about. is about Faction Warfare, and how someone that has struggled for years to enjoy Eve and, and get into it. How Faction Warfare has enriched my game. Throughout the video series, I will also be talking about how new players can get into Eve and dive straight into Faction Warfare and have the time of their lives in this universe. Contrary to what some people believe, PvP does not have to be expensive. You do not have to take out a 100 million -esque Drake or other ships around that price range or more to have fun in PvP. Even as over a 70 million skill point tune at this point, I still find myself flying in a 2 million isk frigate, having the time of my life. Now that's not to say that of course you can go out in a 600 million isk tangu or other things and still have the same amount of fun, but it's the amount of times that you can go out with that 2 million isk frigate. Even new pilots that are couple days old can make two million isk in little to no time at all and get into the fight and have tons of fun. I think we should call it there. I'd like to thank you for taking this time to listen to the first video and I hope you look forward to the videos that I have coming soon. I will be posting a video hopefully at least once a week or so depending upon how good of fights I get and the footage that I get. Until then, fly safe.